Hi everyone, I'm Sydney with River Wranglers. I'm the AmeriCorps Education and Outreach Coordinator. Today we're going to do two small quick experiments, but they kind of work off of each other, so that's why we're doing two at a time. The first one will be dealing with emissible liquids. Um, emissible are liquids are molecules that are attracted to each other. That's what the liquids contain. And so there are two different liquids that will not mix. For this, we will need vegetable oil and a glass with some water already in it. Now, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna take some vegetable oil and pour it into the water. A bit more than that. You can see, which you can a little bit from that angle, but I'll also hold it up to you. The vegetable oil is sitting on top of the water. That's because the water has a higher density, which puts it at the bottom, and because they're both immiscible liquids. So their molecules are attracted to each other, which we've gone over on this channel with water before, but we haven't quite gone over this with oil before. Um, if you were to, let's say, mix up the water and vegetable oil, they would mix, but they'd go back to being two separate things because they are attracted to their own. That is the first experiment. And now we're getting into a more fun one, in my opinion. Um, you're going to be taking some dish soap. I have some dish soap right here. I already poured it into this container, so this clear cup. And what we're going to be doing with it is we're going to be doing a little science experiment on emulsion. Emulsion is when two liquids have molecules that don't normally mix. Emulsion is when those molecules do mix. Now dish soap, the reason we use dish soap with vegetable oil and water is because dish soap is attracted to both water and oil molecules, forcing them to mix. Soap acts so. If we were to just kind of pour in some more, some soap. Because I used soap that's already blue, I didn't put food coloring into the soap, but you can always add food coloring into the soap if you want to. Soap is acting to dissolve the oil, almost creating a lava lamp effect. The soap slowly going down, and it's also slowly losing some of its color as it comes down. The oil molecules are suspended above the water and they're also suspended within the dish soap that we just put in, which is demonstrating emulsion. Now, if we were to mix up the dish soap with the oil and the water, get some suds, get some nice bubbles, but then you just let it sit. See? all together now. It's one pretty homogenized, homogenized meaning it's all mixed evenly. Um, it's one homogenized entity. This is why dish soap works so well. It's because it suspends the oil molecules within itself, within the soap. So instead of having the oil get stuck above the water, the dish soap comes in and says, you're coming with me. It's pretty much a simple way to put that. Now if you look, the water starts clearing up at the bottom first. And I'll show you guys that here soon. Right now there's a very little bit but as that clears up, I'll just keep talking until there's enough to show you. 
So emulsion is a way to mix two immiscible liquids together. And it also is a really super quick and easy way to explain how dish soap works to clean pots and pans and other dishes that we may have in the kitchen. So if I hold this up right now, you can kind of see very slightly the bottom, the water is kind of starting to win out. It's kind of starting to clear up the bottom. It will take a while for it to fully clear up again and to really separate again. But that is all the time we have for today. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next week on Monday with another educational video. And I'll see you again next Friday with another activity you can chew at home. Thank you. Remember to like and subscribe down below.